We're here with former Cal linebacker, Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year, Michael Krendricks. Michael, thanks for joining us Thank today. Thank you. Thank you. What's it like to come back here from the winter break and see this great facility now up and running? Uh, I'm a little jealous, you know. Um, yeah, you know, it wasn't up when I was up and running when I was here. So uh, it, I'm excited for my guys here, the guys I left behind or that I'm leaving behind. But um, I'm just happy that they get they get a new facility to work out in, and it, it gives new motivation for the program. You know, you see all the new weights and all the you know the cow colors, and it just makes you want to work hard for your school. You know, um, I'll be training here um, for the short amount of time before draft, so I get to get a I get to get a little use out of it. So I'm excited. And how nice is it you get? Uh, it's so nice. Everything's so close. You know what I mean? It's not like the weight room's way over here and. You know, your meeting room's over here and your, you know, the snack bar's right here. You know, you just, everything is condensed into one and it's very convenient. And I'm sure you saw the brand new locker room, but you guys get your own alumni locker yeah, room. Yeah, we get there. an alumni locker room. It, it's, it's, it's small. It's smaller than their locker room, but it's, it's nice though. You know, it, the fact that they, they took the time and, the, and the, you know, to think about us and it's very considerate of them that they, that they made an alumni locker room and, and uh, made me feel very welcome. And take us through from the moment the season ended to preparing for the NFL Combine. What did you do? Well, uh, after season ended, I had a little downtime. Um, spent that with my family and my friends. Um, after that, I flew out to Phoenix, Arizona, trained at API. Um, that's where Cam Jordan and Tyson Alawala trained. Um, they're former Cal players, first round draft picks themselves. and. Um, yeah, it was just, you know, two, two and a half months of straight work. Um, yeah, it's just as far as my nutrition and um, my, my, you know, physically and, and, and mentally even, you know, having coaches come in that, that are former coaches in the NFL taking me up on the board and teaching me new, new concepts and, and um, you know, and drop zones and, and reads and everything like that. You know, I hit all points that I needed to hit. For, for this up for this upcoming draft and, and for the combine. And what was that experience like when you arrived in Indianapolis? Not only the workouts, but meeting with all the teams. Oh, um, meeting with the teams. It was a little overwhelming at first, you know, seeing how many people were really there, and how 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 fast paced everything was moving. But um, it was an experience to remember. You know what I mean? It only happens once, and uh, I enjoyed it. I met I met you know some of the best players in the nation. You know, they're all there underneath one roof, and um, it, you, you know you build a com you, you you start to become friends with these guys. And you, you you know you build a camaraderie with you, and you start getting you know, family like. You know, what I mean, it's like making a new team, so coming to a new team, and uh, it was real fun. You know, meeting with these guys and the coaches. Um, you know, I met John Elway. You know what I mean? I mean, it was pretty exciting. You know, like you could imagine meeting John Elway in the fresh in the flesh. And um, I was I was kind of speechless, but that's just you know that's just a small sample of what I experienced at combine. Did it help to have five of your Cal teammates there? Yeah, most definitely. You know, seeing them in the hallways, you know, we're passing. I'm doing one thing and he's doing another, but you know, as we pass each other in the hallways, it's just good to see a face that's familiar. You know, it makes you feel a little more comfortable. And what was it? Were you surprised to see? the times and the, the amount of reps that you put up or was it this is I always knew I could do Man, this um, you know it's it's a little bit in between you know I, I knew that I, I had high expectations for myself I knew what I was capable of doing I've been doing it but not as good as I did you know what I mean I just did it that much better at combine and I feel like that's due to you know the pressure situation built with you know a little bit of adrenaline and you know the competition aspect of it it just kind of put all things into play and I, I did what I did how gratifying is it for you to see all your hard work pay off with Man, such great results it's, it's so gratifying it's I feel like I can breathe you know what I mean like all this hard work that I put in to this since I the day I got here is actually going to show for something and um, it's good it feels real good I'm blessed and um, I'm ready to take it to the next level. And talk about today. Um, what did you do today at, at Pro Day? I, I supported my team. Um, I did the L drill, 5-10-5 um, drill. 
But um, other than that, I, I, I didn't do too much, you know, considering the conditions were very bad and, and um, the field was unsafe. And, um, you know, I did a lot at Combine, so I was really just supporting my teammates and, and doing the stuff that I didn't do at Combine. Did you receive advice from former players, like you mentioned Cam Jordan, yeah. um, who went through that process last year right. as you go through this process now? Yeah, um, I definitely called up guys um, who have had a little bit of experience that have, that have been around me and uh, who I had know personally, who are my ex-teammates such as um, Cameron Jordan, Chris Conti, Shane, um, Tyson. You know, these are just guys that I could reach out to, that I could use as a source of information and, and what to expect in the combine. And I did that. And I feel like that helped me out a lot, you know. How do you think Coach Tedford and the coach, coaching staff in general has helped prepare you for this moment in your life? Oh, um, you know, as, as we all know, Coach Tedford runs a tight ship, much like um, a, a, pro, a pro system. And um, having Coach P come in and, 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 and put in his pro system as well, it just it made everything a lot easier, you know. Here at Cal, they don't baby you. You know, they tell you what it is straight up, and that's how it is. And you know, you either you either do it or you don't. It's simple as that. You know, there's no no in between, no excuses, and that's what the league is. That's what it is. You get the job done, and that's that. And uh, I feel like that's prepared me very well for the next level. Um, we're hard workers here at Cal. It's what we're known for, and um, it's put me in a good situation, good 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 position. Well, that next level is the NFL, and the NFL draft is next month. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.